Well, welcome along to Hong Kong Direct, your one-stop shop for everything Hong Kong racing related. On this week's episode of the program, we're going to weigh in with Luke Curry and find out a bit more about the Australian-born jockey. But before we get to Luke, of course, uh, first up on this week's edition of the show, it's the big race coming up over in Paris. It's the Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe, and one man that's created his own legend in that race, as he has Hong Kong, is a certain Gerald Mosse. And earlier on this week, I managed to catch up with the legend himself. Well, as you know, it's probably the biggest race worldwide. It's the final of uh, the World One ch uh, Championship of, of a mile and a half in Longchamp in France. It's absolutely beautiful race course, very wide track. Um, everybody has this chance, except sometimes when the ground is a bit quick, it's a bit, bit, bit more tricky. Now they put the open stretch only for that race. Um, well... This is the race that uh, makes the value of the stallion like nothing better. Um, is the is the rendezvous then you can't miss. Like if you be able to to ride is already privileged. If you win is like uh, when you win the uh, I would say Melbourne Cup or, or Japan Cup is is one of the biggest uh, uh, races worldwide. I will say. What do you make of this year's race? I mean, obviously, every year it's it's a quality-looking race. We've got last year's winner uh, in the contest. You've got a horse like Mishrif in the race as well. I mean, it's it's very strong all the way through, isn't it? Well, like I say, when you talk about the final of the World Championship, definitely it's all the best horses. They have top rating international and definitely uh, be able to... Uh, go to the farm after that race. Uh, the horse win last year was a top class horse coming from Germany where people was not really expecting him to do that, but he was coming at the right time in, in the right form. Gerald, I saw another interview recently um, and, and you went um, on record as saying, you know, this could possibly be one of your last arc rides. How special would it be if, if, if you could win another arc, say, before you, know, you bring your career perhaps to a close? I'm sure you've got many years left. Um, but how special would it be to win another arc? Well, to win the arc, no matter what, if you the beginning of your career or the end of your career is the arc. The only thing is maybe if I win, I resign 10 years or I quit right after. I don't know. This is a bit, you have to really go with the flow and what you feel. At the moment, I feel that definitely uh, I'm going to reduce the speed of racing worldwide. Uh, I keep keep riding everywhere uh, at the moment up to the end of the season, and then uh, we see. Um, it could be one more year, or it could be the end. Um, if you talk about the career, uh, is I I feel then my body and my uh, physique really be able to carry on. So I want to try. To keep right uh, as long than I could because this is my hobby, it's not my job actually. And then one day I will stop and I will be able to train because I prepare myself to do that mentally. And then uh, this is the hardest part I would say to to be able to say enough, boys. Uh, I do my job. I'm gonna do something else. No one knows uh, except uh, me. Deep down, I know a bit what I'm gonna do, but. For the time being, I keep focused to be rider, and then second career will come later. Well, great to chat to Gerald Mosse, and uh, he also spoke about a possibility of coming to Hong Kong for HKIR, and that would quite be something as well, trying to add to his tally of winners at that meeting already. So from one man very much established here in the city to one that's trying to make a big name for himself, and he's done well recently, given that he's just ridden a winner uh, at Wednesday night's Happy Valley meeting is Luke Curry. And uh, now on Hong Kong Direct, we can weigh in with Luke Curry and find out a bit more about what makes him tick. Hi everybody, I'm Luke Curry. I, um, I'm a jockey from Australia. Some f close friends call me Nugget, um, but that's not commonly used. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, Nugget if, um, if any. Myself and my friends used to go on a trip every year and uh, I'd always put on a bit of weight and they said I look like a Nugget. So um, that's, uh, that's where that came from.
Um, my father was a jockey, um, uh, so from a very young age I was, I was brought up with horses, riding horses, and um, it's in my blood. My favourite horse would be Haydock. Um, I had a um, very successful um, career on him, for his career, I rode him most of his career and four group ones um, uh, with an Australian Guineas, so uh, he's very special to me. Hey Doc, a good leader though, at the 100, he's two in front of Prize Dyke on Harlow Gold. Hey Doc in front, will he run the mile out? You betcha! Hey Doc, big Prize Dyke on... Um, I have two standout memories, obviously my, my first day of riding, uh, to ride a, my first winner here at, at my first ride, it was very special and then um, to come back from injury and ride a double uh, for John size, that's uh, very special as well. Ice legend and down the outside smart patch, it's amazing teens and here comes a winning double for Luke Curry, amazing teens. Uh, I always loved uh, Mick Dittman when I was when I was young, um, and then uh, later on, probably uh, through my early apprenticeship um, and, and early years as a jockey, Darren Gauchy, and now I think uh, Damien Oliver to me is um, the pinnacle of um, of jockeys in my mind. Yeah, so this season I'm, I'm hoping to improve off last season. I, I averaged three winners a month last season and um, only rode for uh, three months. So I'm hoping that I can, can improve off that and uh, maybe ride 30 or more winners. Um, and then after that I would, would like to, um, to get into the, the top few jockeys and um, hopefully ride a couple of big winners. Um, my wife and, and two daughters have just joined me. They, um, they weren't here with me uh, all of last season, which I, I miss them dearly. Um, but they've, they've come back after the break. And um, my wife, Sophia, who we've been married for about 10 years now. So um, it, was, it was great to have her to come over here. And, um, and uh, she enjoys her racing and enjoys her horses. So um, she's looking forward to the, um, to the, to the stint here. Um, and my two children, Mia, who's five, and Miley, who's two. They're, um, they're very excited about being in Hong Kong and, um, and the warm weather. Um, yeah, well, I, my, my main um, passion is, uh, is AFL football, and uh, I follow St Kilda um, there, but, but not uh, passionately. I think um, if um, if Tasmania got a team in the AFL, then, uh, then I would jump ship and, uh, and be, be a, a Tasmanian supporter. Yes, Luke Curry then. Uh, we certainly wish him very well, obviously, for the remainder of the season. He's got a, a really good ride in the National Day Cup uh, aboard Skyfield, so uh, that could certainly go some way to cementing his place here in Hong Kong. We wish him well. Let's take a look at the diary, though. Here's what's coming up uh, for you in the next few meetings. Obviously, this weekend, it is the, the National Day Cup and uh, certainly a race uh, full of quality there. Looking forward uh, to that one. And we're back at Happy Valley uh, on Wednesday night uh, and also racing coming up next uh, Sunday, a week on Sunday here in Hong Kong. But uh, that's just about it for this episode of Hong Kong Direct. Uh, many thanks for watching. And as we leave you, you can enjoy a little bit of Mosse magic. Daria Khanna winning the Hong Kong Vase back in 2009. Enjoy this. Many thanks for watching and goodbye. Racing past the trainer stand as they turn out of the straight. Packing winner sits up in the lead from Jackpot Delight. And sitling third on the inside is Black Samba. The favourite Spanish Moon's fourth. Cirrus de Zeg's caught three wide, pressing forward. Then Yume Zane underneath Kasbar Bliss. Two for the back to Viva Bataka switched off. Similar margin to Jaguar Mail on the outside of Bucciolati. Two for the back to James Cena from Thumbs Up. And a length and a half to the filly, Daria Kana last. Working down the back section of the course now, 1300.
100 metres to run. And Doyle is running even sections on the leader, packing winner. By a half length on Jackpot Delight, Cirrus des Eggs been three wide from the start. Black Mamba fourth on the back of the speed. Spanish Moon close enough. simeon has got Jaguar Mail three wide. Back on the inside, Hume Zane. Kasbah Bliss between runners from Bucciolati. Then Viva Bataka pulling out three wide now. Getting out of the back of Jaguar Mail. Further back in the side winkers to James Cena from Thumbs Up. And the filly will have to come from last to beat them, Daria Kana. The field is somewhat more compact now, 800 metres out. Packing winner, just the leader from Jackpot Delight. Cirrus des Eggs, three wide and third. Spanish Moon poised to pounce in fourth. Jaguar Mail improves his position now. Hume Zane's off the fence. Fallon's pushing hard at him. Viva Bataka's travelling nicely the outside. Then Kasbar Bliss, thumbs up, trails up. Black Mamba drops out. And the last is Daria Kana pulling to the outside. Into the straight now on the Vars. And Cirrus des Eggs races to the lead momentarily with Viva Bataka and Jaguar Mail giving chase. Kasbar Bliss runs on with thumbs up. And Daria Kana to the outside. Spanish Moon goes back towards the rails. Viva Bataka being tackled by Jaguar Mail in the green cap. Spanish Moon's back to the fence. Spanish Moon, Jaguar Mail. Here's the filly, Daria Kana. She's swamping them wide out. Spanish Moon and Daria Kana. And Daria Kana lunges at Spanish Moon. Mosse wins the bars. Daria Kana.